I previously reviewed a budget wireless gaming controller from EZSMX. Now I really like this and I've been using it a lot since getting it. But one downside I found with that model was that it just took standard batteries with no recharging. So now Easy SMX have sent me another model to review. This one is the KC8236 and this one doesn't need any battery changes and is rechargeable. This comes in at less than £20 here in the UK. So let's have a look in the box and see what it's like. So in the box you get the controller itself, a micro USB cable for charging, a wireless USB dongle, an instruction booklet and a promotional leaflet. Again it's an Xbox 360 controller clone but this time it's shaped a little bit more like the Xbox One controller. The wireless signal is a bespoke 2.4 gig band which ties it to the USB dongle supplied. You can't connect it any other way. Installation on the PC was easy, just plug the USB dongle in and push the sync button on the controller. The controller is instantly recognised with no need to install anything. Now I'm told that this also works with Android, unfortunately I've not had a chance to try it out but if you have let us know how you get on in the comments section below. This time the controller is made of a much shinier plastic, bit of a fingerprint magnet if I'm honest and it can get a little bit slippy if playing for a long time. To help with that though, there are rubber grips on the outer edges. On top of the controller is the micro USB charging port to charge the built-in battery. It takes two hours to charge fully and from that you get eight hours of continuous playtime. The main buttons feel nice and sturdy and not as cheap as this price point suggests. Although the start and select buttons on this model do look and feel very cheap, although for the amount of time you generally use these, it's not much of a problem. So let's try it out in FIFA 19 and F1 2018, two titles that I play which do test the controller out in different ways. Now in both games, again the experience was a good one. The buttons felt really responsive, I had no issues with lag. The triggers and analogue sticks have smooth movement and feel good to use. The top of the analogue sticks being very grippy. The vibration feedback is also there. So overall, this is a great controller for the money. The quality in the main is good, although I do prefer the grippiness of the previous controller. The fact that this is rechargeable though is a huge plus. And again, I think it's a fantastic bargain buy. Well, I'll leave a link to the KC8236 wireless controller on Amazon, as well as a link to the Easy SMX website in the description below. Please don't forget to use our Amazon and Overclockers links as they do help to keep the channel going. Give this video a like if you liked it. Got loads more videos coming very soon, so the best way not to miss any of those is to subscribe below. It doesn't cost a thing. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.